Hey everybody, today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to organize and import brushes into Clip Studio Paint. But first, check out my latest project. If you like giant robots and missed out on Gunship Thunder Punch Book 1, here's your chance to get on board. This is a second chance campaign for the 80 page graphic novel, Part 1 of a trilogy. A kidnapped son, a desperate mother, and an outdated transforming gunship. Mars doesn't stand a chance. Featuring a variant cover by Transformers fan favorite artist Alex Milne. All art and story on this book are finished and ready to go to print. All it's waiting on is you to get on board, Gunship Thunder Punch. All right, so one of the cool things about Clip Studio Paint is that you can import, buy, customize, and organize all your brushes. And I wanted to go over how to import brushes because that might be a problem it was for me it's a very simple process but again clip studio paint has so many things that you can do with it sometimes the simple things can be kind of hard to find so over here in your subtool panel wherever you have your brushes um, over here if you click on your pen tool it'll go through this these are the default the g pen real g pen all that stuff this comes with um, clip studio paint when you start importing uh, brushes for example, I bought these from Frendon. Uh, these are Frendon brushes, Frendon.com. And to import, once you download your files and have a folder, it'll probably look something like this on Windows. And you'll see a whole bunch of these. Now, the thing is, all you need to do is drag it to where you want it to go. So. Whichever one of these is open is where it's going to throw it. It threw it in the bottom there. You can also let me get out of this, delete sub tool. Instantly right click on any of these and you can reset to default. You can import, you can export, you can do all these different things. But right now it's just drag and drop. Okay, pretty simple. So once we open up my folder here, let's say I've got three brushes. Um, once you come up here to this little menu and you have import settings, what you might run into, and this is one of the little things that could be confusing, is if I go to my desktop and I get my test tools, it will only let me highlight one at a time. And I think for some people that makes them think they can only import. I'm going to have to, I bought all these brushes. I'm going to have to go in and drag and drop them one at a time. No, no, you don't. So, um, you can, the import, this is a key point, the import subtool can only do one at a time, but you can drag and drop multiple things just like this all at once. So this is a weird thing. The import subtool is less effective than just dragging the stuff into your um, program. So that's, that's one of the things that I ran into where I was going by the, the, the normal, oh, I use the import sub tool. Oh no, I have to do all one at, one at a time. No, you don't just do the simple thing and drag and drop. Always try and drag and drop general principle. Okay. So let's say I've gotten all my brushes over here and get rid of this. But if I bought like I did here for a long time, I used this like a very long time. I downloaded all my stuff, but look at all these brushes here and I'm going to experiment with them all, but what if I with the ones I like, do I have to, and this is a, this is a kind of a, a weak point of how, um, you know, if I want to if, say, I like this, uh, Inker manga studio four thing now, and I, I want to use it a lot, but I don't want to scroll down to get it. Look how slow this goes. Oh my gosh. I got to drag this all the way up to the top every time. No, you don't. We need to make a different, um, different group. So, um, what we do is from these, I can drag and make if I just drag one over here, let me gra grab one down here. Let's say I want to make a pencil set, right? Let's get a pencil layout. We'll drag it over here. Oh, it put that tool. It's the only one there. But what it actually did was make another folder. It just used as a default, whatever the first thing I'm drug over here on this blank space. So I'm going to right click on that settings. Only setting you could change is pencils. I'll say uh, pencil tools. I'll just do pencils so I can see it. Small. All right. Now. When I go over here, I can say, you know what? I want to drag all my different pencil things. Now this you can only do one at a time, unless you go into your folder and drop them. But you know, kind of on the fly as I go, I just drag it, drag it up here. Boom, there's two in there. Now I've got a red and a blue. Let's say I want to get a 
regular kind of pencil. Uh, so you get the idea. So I can build up. I've got my, my go-to inking tools right here that I'm using. I've got my pencil tools over here. I've got a red and a blue and it's a, a regular, um, regular pencil. So this is how you import. This is how you organize. All right. Um, the biggest thing, like I said, is not getting confused with what the program will let you do as opposed to just dragging and dropping. Um, if you want to get into creating your own custom sub tool, you get, you get to name it. Uh, we'll go over a different thing, but if you want to play around with that, you can, but that's where the, the thing is. So I hope that helps you get organized. It's something simple. Uh, if you've been using it for a while, like I, I used Clip Studio for years before I really got into figuring out, oh, I can just drag and drop and organize because we so want to draw, we forget to do the basic thing. So I hope this helps. Uh, be sure to check out uh, my project, link, latest project, link in the description, and I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. Be sure to hit subscribe and hit the bell to receive all notifications because just hitting subscribe doesn't mean anything.